Welcome to American, a look at the iconic landscape of America. Flying to Midwest Iowa from South Korea and then driving to Buena Vista University. What have I seen the most of in my life in Iowa? Corn! However, that wasn't all. Iowa has several larger than life icons along the roadside that help you stay awake while driving through the never ending cornfields. The attractions are as huge as America is. Did you know that America has the biggest Hereford Bowl in the world? Did you know that statue of an Indian princess that an Iowa town and county is named for measures 25 feet from the base of the platform to the top of the head? And did you know there is a lighthouse that sits in the middle of the cornfields? Well, let's go and discover these hidden icons of America on American. Now, let's navigate farther down on Highway 71. Albert, the world's largest bull with baby blue eyes, has been greeting travelers by the roadside to Audubon, Iowa since 1964. Albert the bull was built as a replica of the perfect Hereford bull, nine times larger than the life size, and he's authentic right down to his toenails. You can push a button in the information kiosk next to Albert and gaze at him through the scratched plexiglass while he tells you his story. Let's hear what Albert says. Beep! Hello, my name is Albert. Albert the world's largest bull. In Audubon, Iowa, one bull stands above all others in the world. He's also now the oldest. His name is Albert. He stands on the south end of town, greeting travelers on Highway 71, and is so lifelike, he could almost walk off his concrete platform. So why does this small community claim this gentle giant their own? Albert was named after uh, Albert Cruz, who was uh, president of uh, First State Bank. He was the originator and the promoter of the Operation T-Bone event that started back in the early 50s and organized an effort to ship cattle to Chicago. It just kind of happened. I don't think it was originally planned. It was. It evolved out of certain events, and the Chamber of Commerce got into the act, and, and we've always had a good chamber here, so they like to promote things that are worthwhile. And at that time, it was hard to get industry to come into town, so it, 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 was, it was the thinking and the liking that, that the, the cattle feeding business was already there, and why not promote it? The Audubon County JCs, the Junior Chamber of Commerce, thought of the idea of building a huge bull as a good way to promote the beef industry in Audubon County. Much of the original construction was done by the JCs along with local construction companies and metal workers. The original construction of the bull is, uh, well, it was put in on a concrete, tremendous concrete footings and then we fastened four major I-beams to it, and uh, we had four I-beams running crossways as well, and that's what the main structure was. Basically, it's constructed with the re-rod assemblies, and they're made in sections, and they are reinforced in themselves, and they go from, you probably have a section every, I would say probably every 16 inches going across all the way through. Albert the Bull stands 28 feet above the platform, measures 45 feet from the tips of the horns, and weighs 45 tons. This huge bull has been loved by Audubon County residents and visitors who have stopped by to take pictures with Albert. This August is the 59th year that Operation T-Bone has been celebrated. Operation T-Bone Day is uh, actually a weekend that we have. Uh, the first Saturday in August each year is the main day. Uh, the day before, uh, the evening before, uh, we have a uh, hamburger feed and fireworks 
on Saturday. We have a parade, have a lot of arts and crafts activities uptown around the uh, square. Uh, cook hamburgers and steak sandwiches. The Operation T-Bone Committee does that. Uh, that evening we have a, a street dance uh, and a beer garden. And it's become the weekend that most all of the uh, high school classes have their class reunion. So we get a large turnout of uh, people uh, for all those activities. Albert the Bull and the T-Bone Committee go hand in hand because Albert the Bull represents um, the, the beef industry in Ottoman County and, and the T-Bone Committee, um, we, we spend the year promoting beef. Operation T-Bone would not be as big of a success without the organizational efforts of the T-Bone Committee. Operation T-Bone has changed many times over the years to what it is now. Currently, the cattle are taken to the nearby sale barn in Kimbolton. We deliver the cattle on Monday evening. Um, the, the trucks bring the cattle to the, to the sale barn. The, the feeders, the businessmen, anyone, everyone is welcome to go and we have um, steak for supper that evening. And um, there's no big banquet or anything. Uh, we have steak, we grill them outside and eat under a tent. The, the next day we go to the, to the sale barn and watch the cattle be in auction. Um, there's not a big banquet like there used to be years ago. Things have, have changed a lot. Uh, we still have a good time promoting beef and um, I guess plan on to continue doing this. I think he's a wonderful tribute uh, to our cattle feeding industry. Uh, he's a great draw. Uh, no matter where I go and someone asks me where are you from and I'll tell them Audubon and they say oh is that where that big bull is at? This is the whole story about Albert the Bull and it's no bull. What's in the future for Albert? The Operation T-Bone Committee is trying to bring a railroad car to place right next to Albert. The railroad car is a replica of the type of cattle car that moved cattle from the farms of Audubon to Chicago. These celebrated icons bring a lively atmosphere to the roadsides of Iowa, and I think we do need to appreciate them. They are the American spirit, and they truly make up the iconic landscape of America.